1100 the journey standby Ready to run. There they go. They're off. Slowing to stride was Red Cascade. It's some three, four lengths away. It's Buck jumping. So it's out of play, Red Cascade, for young Jaggard. They sort out their order, and Strikeout's going to go to the top. So Strikeout will lead. Bit of pace on here. Satin Isles caught a touch wide. Kicking up was Lena Rand. So we've got a line of three. Getting the drop off the speed was Hayrick Lane. And it's outside was Nita Bigger Boat. A length and a half away to Sands Whisper. Three, four lengths away. Then to Gracie Secret, who's racing wide. Law of Reciprocity. G Dan got back and Red Cascade, the ones out of play. Down the side of the course they work and pushing onto the top was Strikeout, who went running. The best part of three or four in front of in second place, in which was Lena Ran, then followed by Satin Isle. Further back in the field, scrubbed along was Sands Whisper near the inside. Need a bigger boat. Getting into the clear now is Hayrick Lane. It's got to make up four. They're into the straight. The one to chase is Strikeout. Trying hard was Satin Isle. Getting to the outside was Hayrick Lane, starting to warm up with Nita Bigger Boat. Hayrick Lane hit the lead. It's too good. Class is going to prevail. Hayrick Lane, a mate and no more. Goes on and beats maybe Strikeout. Out wider on the track was Nita Bigger Boat. Then followed Satin Isle. Nearer the inside was Sands Whisper. Then we had G Dan further back in the field. Gracie's secret. Second to last was Lena Ran. The last one to cross the line was Law of Reciprocity. And Red Cascade went well, the best part of about 100 metres for young Jaggard and uh, started to buck jump. So hopefully all OK there after the fourth.